uh, generally has created the multifocus function. Like, so in case of there's mispositioning of the patients, we can overcoming. He can able, he's able, you know, uh, this system, and this is a uh, function in the software of this, it can obtain the most clear uh, picture of all the things that he can record, okay? Uh, for example, uh, they can take a shot of five and uh, this function automatically it chooses the most one that has the highest resolution and the lower high quality. Uh, this also, this, um, this device also has the, the best thing that uh, it allows me to have face-to-face -face positioning with the patient so I can get him in the right place, also to assure him face-to-face -face so he can have more confidence and he can listen to exactly uh, the instructions that I have to say. Also, uh, we have the hand switch, like I can use, uh, um, this is like, uh, for example, uh, my finger, like I have two options, like either beside the patient, I can press it or outside the room, which is the better, of course, it's outside the room because at first I am doing, for example, as a dentist or radiologist, I'm doing, uh, you know, X-ray exposure regularly. So I am more prone to have also the changes that the patient may have experienced with the high dose. So I must keep it, uh, you know, uh, as safe as possible. Uh, different patients have different jaw shape, as you can see here. Um, so of course it can also, uh, you know, it's flexible with all, with all types of jaw shape. Also there's emergency switch, for example, if the patient faints. Okay, uh, if there's something horrible that has happened or uh, something uh, has intervened the process, so there is an emergency switch that I can press on it and prevent the exposure to happen. And then I can, for example, hurry to the patient um, to get him out of the room or, for example, just to get him in his right place. This is the voice support system. If I am outside the room, uh, I just want him, you know, for example, before doing the doors, I can tell him, okay, please, can you hear me? Uh, please stand still, okay, straighten your back, and these things. Uh, it also gives assurance to the patient, so we can't, you know, some some patients, like, they don't, they are afraid. So just speaking to them is, is good, just to keep them straight. Also, for example, for a uh, wheelchair accessible, it's also wheelchair accessible, right? for those uh, who are, you know, on wheelchair, instead of standing up, it's so flexible to be also used on the wheelchair. I will show you a picture and the other files where a wheelchair can be used because I can control the level here. Okay, this is the one. Okay, this one here. This thing, have, can you see the mouse? Yes. Can. Okay, this to... one, this is where I put my, uh, where the patient puts his, his chin, okay, so I can take the photos. And these two, these are that the patient can uh, just to uh, get his, uh, to, uh, you know, to make his uh, head still and does it move. And this one, the patient can hold it in his hand so he doesn't move, okay? Okay. Can you There's a picture the, uh, yeah. sorry, mm, can you explain the face to face function what does that mean for example i want i want for uh, i want uh, for example i want to get you here okay uh, you will put your chin here and your head will be good uh, will be you know still so it can fix your head position and so it doesn't rotate and this one cylindrical here is that you can put your your uh, you know and uh, your hands uh, I am on the other side telling you this. Other, other, uh, you know, devices can't allow this. Like you are here, and I am just, I am as a dentist. I'm just putting you on the right place, and doing all the instructions in front of your head, if you your face. Other, other devices and other, you know, uh, companies doesn't always support this. That's the case. Okay. No, I will show you when I show you a patient like in th these files. I will show you exactly how is it done. So the exposure gra grounds of this papaya version it has different various exposures. Okay, we have here the standard panoramic and the orthogonal panoramics is the same. Just the resolution and of uh, in the orthogonal one here is higher. So it it reads higher radiation exposure. If there is no need, 
to give high exposure and there is no need to have more diagnostic effects i can use the standard and this what most people must most uh, patients uh, do okay so this, there is a sinus for example in the case of sinus lifting here can you see the implant yes okay great for example uh, as you can see here there is definitely a sinus lift uh, sinus lifting has been done because that the thing in the, sh in the black shadow here means that this is air air in the x-ray appears as a black so this is the sinus because it's an interval so here the dentist has done sinus lifting to elevate the sinus can you see the difference between this level and this level yeah, yeah. So he has done here sinus lifting to insert the implant and prevent any kind of infection that may, you know, um, harm the sinus. Because I, as I told you before, if there's inflammation in the sinus, the patient will experience severe pain, severe headache, um, you know, that he needs ENT, ear, nose, and the throat a specialist or maxillofacial surgery to fix it. So that's the case why he has done the sinus lifting here. So by doing this kind of x-ray we have ensured that the sinus lifting is correct and the implant position is so secure and there is no harm okay. thank you for that that's really very useful okay now this is the other one this is uh, the sinus we call this one is sinus posterior anterior like uh, the, the, the same thing i can see you here like this is the face i can see you now but if you just, this is the profile face of you, the profile side, which is the side uh, of your face. Like you can just like when you left, when you look at right or left, for example, when you pray, like when you just say, like when you switch your face, that face, I can get this view. So this is from the side, not just from the front of the face. This is, for example, another implant here. I can see this. For example, this one. Um, I, there is, uh, unfortunately, it has perforated the sinus. Because now I see here there is a pus. There is an inflammation that is accumulating here. And the sinus here is not left correctly. So this is important in diagnosis. Now this is the X-ray segment. Like for example, I can uh, just get um, two more. This is exactly as the panorama one. Both the same thing, but just you know. Uh, a segment. Yes, yeah, just a segment of it. Okay, this is by twang. I want, for example, see this composite. Okay, this is an amalgam restoration, okay, this one. And I want to check uh, this, for example, he, he, the patient came to the clinic and he was, you know, uh, explaining some discomfort in this side. So instead of doing uh, the very apical, which only has this one, I can use the bite wing, this is called bite wing, like I can get the teeth in this side and the teeth above them not just the teeth in the lower not just the teeth in the upper but both jaws both teeth and both uh, jaws can appear here is it clear like normally when we see like so okay normally we uh, most thing that is used in dental clinic is the dental periapical x-ray and we only for example take for example these three teeth but if there is uh, something that, for example, this uh, image doesn't have anything that is harmful, like everything is okay here. There is not any source of pain. So I make the bite wing just to make sure that here everything is okay and compare the upper side with the lower side. Because there is something in dentistry called radiating pain. Like for example, sometimes uh, when you feel the pain here is here, the, for example, the source of pain is here, okay, and the upper, but you, the, the patient complains that his pain here in the other side, because it has the same nerve. So sometimes there's something called pain radiating, that instead of showing it in the right side, which is above, 
it radiates to be in the lower end. Patient com comes to the clinic and he suffers from pain from the lower side, but the thing that the upper side is the thing that is uh, that 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 has the pain. So we use the bite wing here. Oh, this is TMG lateral double. Okay, TMG. Okay, what is the double? That I take it from uh, uh, from the right and left side. Okay, both. Let's just. For example, this one is from the right side, okay? But I can have the double here. The right side and the left side all on one screen. So I can exactly differentiate what are the changes that it's happening in the TMG, which is the condyle. Like we have here a condyle in the face, like beside your ear. So many patients, they complain of some pain. So it's very complicated and there are maxillofacial surgeons just specialized in the treatment of the TMG and it's the most complex uh, branch of the industry the TMG does all those like everything is vague about it so as uh, specialists need uh, a very very high resolution image just to signify and to identify the changes that has happened in the condyle and the coronoid this the coronoid bone okay Just, um, is that TMJ um, anywhere? Yeah. Is that important for implantologists or not? Not implantologists, for maxillofacial surgeons. Okay. Uh, yes, because, uh, like, and also orthodontists as well. Yeah. And for, the, for those uh, dentists specialized in uh, alignment of teeth and putting the wire. Is it clear, Tawfiq and Hassan? Uh, yes. Of the dentist. Okay, great. Uh, because like uh, when the dentist something sometimes doing the correction and the alignment of the teeth, sometimes if the uh, the tooth are is positioned incorrectly, there is a sharp pain that will happen in TMG. So the dentist and the maxillofacial surgeons when they are doing the surgeries or when they are doing the orthodontic treatment. They must put in their mind, first thing is the TMG. Okay, this is the tomography. What is tomography? Like, I can do sections. This is exactly, so uh, this is a 3D image, okay? Provides cross-section information for implant preparation. For example, here, this is the teeth. I can do the sections here, so this picture can appear. And then I can decide exactly where I should put the implant or what uh, if there is something wrong with the uh, root filling treatment, I can discover it by this way. Because if I use the panorama when I should before, or the bite wing I used before, it doesn't show anything. But with this, this cross section, I can see the things that doesn't appear on these types of X-ray. So it's so, so important especially for implantologists and for uh, endodontists, for those doing the root canal treatment. Okay. So this device that provides the RAM also gives the tomographic image. Mm, okay. This is the exposure. Yes, this thing, for example, here. Can you see the cut in the orange color? Like, for example, I want to cut here. He is doing the cut, like 132. Then this image appears. Then he can move here, for example, this one also, the 91. This thing that has appeared, this is the implant. This is an implant. I can see that it's correctly positioned in the, moon, uh, in the mouth and inserted correctly in the bone. And the gum here is good. So it's that's what exactly is useful. What is cost? Mm? What is the word cost? C S T. I can't. I can't hear. We have papaya with cost function. Oh, okay. Cost. This is the abbreviation of the program. This is like a cubical semitomographic technology. This is the technology that can uh, that does the cutting in oh. a cuboidal in the semi cuboidal uh, cubical way. 
in the half in, 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 in like for example not whole cubic form but in a half so I can dissect the tooth from the middle so the cross section of the it, tooth yes if I have done it in a cubicle full form I can get to see what is in, in the if I cut here here for example I want here the cut section Oh, for example, can you see the cut section here? Yeah. It's exactly in the middle of the tooth. So this semi-cubical, it allows me to have the sections in the middle of the tooth so I can exactly see the tooth from inside. Oh, it's going on. Like for example, if there is vertical root fracture, if it's a source of pain, then it needs, for example, extraction. These things can be clarified more with the tomography and the cost thing. Okay, so this is how the patient is inserted for, and this is, yes. Okay, uh, now for example, when you, I have you to take the x-ray, you can put your personal belongings here in the convenient accessory tray. Of course, anything metal is prohibited in x-ray because it does something called um, x-ray artifacts like there is a source of noise and there's a source of white radiation that makes the uh, the x-ray can appear so all things metal and all belonging things must be put in the x-ray this is lead indication like you should stand here and you should straighten your back for example so it can help me to do uh, to sit exactly at position this is where you can put your hands, I showed you above, and this is where you can put your chin. So I can take you. This is the handy grab. This. You're fixed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, this terrain is a software. Uh, terrain is a software that is inserted, I think it's um, solely for a uh, generic company. It allows me to see all things, all the images on the X-ray, to do the tomography here, to have all the options, all the data of the patients inserted on the software. Like there's no need for this anymore. All informations are here in the software. It's called Terian. It provides full range of options, like to give different contrast, different resolution, high quality, low quality. It's amazing. This is for just uh, 2D, right? Not the, the CBC. Yes, yes, this is all 2D. We haven't gone through 3D yet. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is, uh, now we have uh, this one. Okay, uh, so. Okay, so uh, the exposure time to get this panorama is from 4 seconds to 17 seconds. Uh, the focal spot is something called the things, the thing that I want to focus on in the X-ray. Sometimes I want the focal spot to be on the two jaws. Sometimes I want it for a single teeth. Sometimes I want it for the whole face. So the focal spot here is nearly here, most, uh, like uh, 0.5 millimeter, okay? which is so good, like it gives me very, very precise information. This is the angle, this is the voltage that controls it. It's, it's usually standard and can be varied according to the procedure you want to do. Okay, this capacity, maximum voltage. Yeah, can I interject this and is, explain the, the focal spot a little bit? Because it is really one of the sell, selling points of extra equipment. When you, when you tell yes. the dentist uh, it has a focal point of 0.5, it's better than mm. point 0.8. Um, that means yeah. to him it will be a high definition, high resolution, high resolution, high resolution images. That's and, exactly. And he will be able exactly to right. see the images much clearer. Um, mm. And that is really a good selling point because other companies they will have larger f as focal spot for the same price, but then you have to compare what the definition is. So if the dentist knows that he's going to get better resolution for the same price, he will go for it. It's just the sales uh, technique. Yes. 
okay this is the sensor like here we use the cmos sensor uh, we have a big special a uh, pixel batch is um, okay for example do you know the pixel okay this is the 2d form of the image right yeah uh, does anyone must, doesn't know the term pixel uh, yeah pixels uh, when we talk about cameras and oh, exactly yes yes yeah. yes exactly so the smaller the pixel size the high resolution the image okay so pixel pitch is exactly um, the distance between two adjacent pixels from the center like from the center of this pixel and the, at the center of the second pixel that is next to it the, the distance between them is called the pixel pitch uh, if it's uh, the smaller it the high resolution because it depends on the pixel size itself if the pixel size itself is small then the distance and the pitch will be smaller so then i will get a higher resolution that's exactly how it works so the smaller it like uh, x-ray companies like they are proud to show that the pixel size and the voxel size that they can provide active area it's the area that is uh, that appears clear on the x-ray and uh, gets all the information that is needed first here it's like it's uh, like a fan beam uh, the, the shape of it is fan beam this is that does the tomography the cutting of this uh, of the teeth i have shown you before this is the volumetric image it gives me uh, 3d but it's not the 3d as the cbct do you know cbct and the ct like I can get, I can get the pictures, but in two D form. I can't just rotate them, not yet here. But it can gives me to slice in all different directions, so I can get the pixel size. Okay, these are the dimensions of it. For uh, if it's uh, for example, uh, if there's a dentist who's who's preparing his uh, clinic, like I'm just to uh, specify uh, the position where the X-ray should be put. Like these are the dimensions that can, where um, the X-ray can have, and of course the smaller the dimensions, the better. And this is what uh, generally is proud about. There is there are some parts that are foldable, so it can take less space. Okay, these are the th three different options. Like we have here uh, four. We have Papaya, Papaya Plus, Papaya 3D, and Papaya 3D Plus. Each one has advantages. We are done now with the papaya, okay? Now I will go through the second one. We are done with the first one. Okay. Now I will do plus. Okay, this is Papaya Plus. Okay. This is this is the rivet. <clears throat> okay. Uh, there is something. Uh, the first one we have only one the panorama image, right? But here there is something called cephalometric image. So the panorama, as we have taken before, the same thing. It has the same type of sensor, which is the CMS. Okay. Then we have here the cephalometric images. This is uh, required for orthodontists and maxillofacial surgeons. So, for example, a GB does he need a cephaloma? So he can use the papaya one. For example, but for maxillofacial surgeons or orthodontists who need cephalometric images he can get the papaya plus so this is the flexibility that papaya uh, that a general company provides what is your specialty and then you can choose the right x-ray source that suits you this is parametric this is when i want to do the orthodontic treatment 
like I, for example, I want to just uh, to get things straight. What is the problem? Is it in the teeth or, or the prune that holds the teeth? For example, the teeth, sometimes the teeth are positioned correctly, but the bone, for example, uh, is, is not in its correct uh, place. So instead of putting wires on the teeth, I put, um, you know, a device that can fix the bone itself. So this is what can spinometric mean. Also, if I want to do orthognatic surgery, which is a surgery that can put the patients to go into surgery to have his jaws fixed, because uh, sometimes it reach, it's very complicated that it doesn't get fixed with Botox or any other treatment, but with the surgery, like this is extreme level. And sometimes orthognatic surgery is, um, usually it's done after 18 years, after the, uh, you know, the growth, the growth has completed. Because if the, uh, the problem is discovered before 18, we don't go to orthognatic surgery. We can do to the more uh, convenient uh, and concerted treatment like orthodontic treatment to fix because the bone here is a flexible to fix with the certain devices uh, of course always the short scan time means this radiation uh, and uh, this radiation also to prevent any kind of distortion by the patient movement so always they focus on the short scan time this is the demographic image that I have explained before uh, this demography is not can just you know can be upgraded like after installing it i can for example uh, you know uh, ask the company to upgrade this demography without any additional hardware sometimes some patient like some dentist don't need it so of course it will cost extra money so if he if the, the, if the dentist or the specialist really needs it he can ask the company to upgrade it so I love the flexibility of um, its prices and also the services they can provide. Like the more services, of course, you will get a higher price. So when you say tomography, doctor, is it uh, just changing? Uh, as, I, as I told you, it's like in uh, England, also an endodontic treatment. For example, if there is, I'm um, doing endodontic treatment and there is a missing canal that the dentist has to get to clean it and to fill it. And there's very source of pain. Uh, when you use the 2D image, like everything is clear and the treatment is correct, but then I can use the tomography just to discover that there is. So this is uh, just basically a cost, just related to cost, yeah. Yeah, this is cost. Exactly, this is cost. Mm -hmm. This is cost because it's uh, in the software. Okay. This is something done in the software. So this is a software that is updated. Mm -hmm. It's not like something individual as the cephalometric or the panoramic. No, this is more like a software. I can get the X-ray exposure, for example, for these five teeth, and then I can do the tomography or the software or the computer. Like I use the cutting on the software and the computer using the mouse, just. So okay. the, the, so word, this, the word plus mm. just means that you have the extra arm. For the no, for the it, it, yes, the plus here means that we have uh, there is something more other than the panoramic, which is here the spinometric. Okay, well, I mean just mm. to, to explain to the to the gentleman. Um, yes, of course. It, it, it just yeah. it just sometimes dentists call it different things. They call it a kef or a cef. So if you hear that, it's a cephalometric, and that's really yes. the arm at the end of the machine, and the purpose of it is that it takes an X-ray of the whole head. And the reason why they need the whole head, as Dr. Hyle just mentioned, is because they need to see the relationship between teeth and head to do the orthodontic work. Yeah? Yes, exactly. Mm. Okay, so this is the smart and compact design. The same thing. This is a lead indication. We have comfortable head to hand degrade, also convenient accessory trays. Um, as the same thing uh, there's face to face positioning uh, jaw shape is exactly uh, it can you know can deal with all kinds of jaws voice support system hand to switch Find status okay and then we have the emergency in case any kind of emergency the machine can be stopped immediately and for example if patient has diabetes and has gone in a coma i can stop everything and then i can rescue the patient Okay, we have also, this is the lid. Uh, we have different moods. For example, I want the panorama, it has a color. 
I want the cephalo it has a color these things so it gives me a variety of colors according to the mood I want to choose okay uh, multifocus function is the same thing because uh, to overcome any kind of uh, mistakes by the patients for example regarding his position and to avoid any kind of free exposure because i don't want to get the patient to get into too much exposure so i can use uh, the uh, multifocus function here it tells me to get the highest uh, resolution picture uh, and it's, it, this is amazing for example for me as a dentist because the uh, re-exposure the patient to x-ray is like a nightmare because okay of course it has very amazing diagnostic effects but harmful effects on the patient so i just want to reduce it okay the same thing uh, this is uh, i can use it what is the options i can use here like we have multiple show shapes i can deal all of them uh, the quality i for example i want the fast the normal the phd it depends on the time of the exposure for example if, I, if the patient has a parkinson i would use the fastest one like the less time it takes to take the exposure for example it may, may uh, be three seconds other may be 17 seconds so depending on the patient depending on the radiation amount that i want the patient exposed i can choose any one of them the first one here i can use with all men they can't stand who can't you know can't stand itself for too much uh, we have also uh, you know reset for easy exposure okay horizontal and vertical x-ray was reduction okay uh, horizontal and vertical x-ray segmentation like i can do the segments of the x-ray instead of letting the patients go into too many exposure to get many sides of the tooth uh, the image itself allows me to get horizontal and vertical ones and then i can divide it without any need for re-exposure also the, of course the tmg details that i have explained before exposure programs what does it do here the standard orthogonal we have also the sinus and the sinus lateral we have also x-ray segment this is the bite wing and the TMG lateral double. This is the CFL metric now. This is the CFL. Okay. And has. Uh, of course, there is there must be you know symmetrical balance so avoid any kind of movement of the patient's face, so I can get exactly uh, the you know uh, the photo segmented of his uh, his head. Uh, okay, also we use the laser just to make the position uh, easy position for the patient um, to avoid any kind of mispositioning, so less ha uh, less mishaps. Any kind here, position sensor is in my special. Okay, so how many seconds I need for cephalometric image in the fast mode? I need only four seconds. This is the fast mode because I have also normal, I have also HD. I want the fast for a patient suffering from uh, Parkinson. I want it for a child who is, you know, hyper. I can use the fast mode, which is only four seconds. Then let's mishaps i will have so this also reduces the motion artifacts okay so what is the exposure programs that this parameter can give me here um this is of course the lateral one i wanted for authentic treatment this is for me if I want to discover any kind of malignancy, but it can appear here. This is water of zoo. Uh, do you know how you uh, make your head when you look at the star uh, when, you, when you look at the sky? 
how you tilt your head above, right? So I let exactly patient to tilt his head above. And then I can take it from the neck. I can get the X-ray from here, from his neck, toward this. So I can get this view. I want, for example, to see here we have a glands. For example, I want to see if there is an obstruction in it. I want to see the neck. I can use this mode. The segment of vertex, like can I elevate, uh, I can tilt the head more upward. So I can get this mental, mental, uh, sub mental vertex mode. And this is for hands. Uh, this is especially important for orthodontists. Why? Why do they take a picture of their the carpus of the hand? because it's indicated scientifically that uh, if the growth has stopped or not i can know it from the uh, the point of the hands which is i mean i have the same reaction uh, when i know it this it's for example i can do the orthodontic i want to make sure that ortho, uh, orthodontic treatment i can do it without going into surgery i can go through i can just get a picture of the carpus which is the hand to ensure that there's there's you know there's growth going on, so there is an opportunity to do orthodontic treatment without going into surgery. But if the growth has stopped, I can't go orthodontic, especially if there's a problem in the bone. I mean here, so I must go here into surgery. Okay, and this is the software they use. Uh, this is on the computer, all all positions, like for example. Here, I want to get the lateral, the sinus, the TMG panorama, uh, the field of view. I just want lo lower jaw. I want the whole face. It depends all on the software. Give some options. So this is uh, the the software they use is Cothia. This one, Cothia, and also it's uh, exceptional, and it's for a generic company. It's amazing like you can you can see just how uh, amazing it is and the high resolution of all things here For the clipping is I customized. So this is this all related to uh, STL export. Yes. Um, for example, I want to get a CAD CAM, uh, which is uh, used to uh, for smile designs and to take to get things and to see the jaw as a whole and the segment in the color position. I use the CAD CAM. Uh, so here I enable three D printer and CAD CAM to be used by using the STL export, this software allows me to use the CAD CAM to, for example, build, uh, to have, you know, um, for example, uh, in the case of implants, for do you, do you remember the scan abutment that I have explained before? The scan abutment, uh, I have explained in the implants before. Uh, then I have, I told you that I can use the, uh, the digital camera and then I can get it to CAD CAM just to design the suitable implants that I can fix it there. This is the panorama. Okay. These are the these are the differences between both here. We have the same exposure time. Of course if we don't have it in the bio, but we have it in the bio plus. The image height we have panorama and cephalo. Babaya here it has more field of view. So I can get a picture of the whole face. For example, 228, 22, 28. I, this is, I use it for the for the whole face, for the treatment. This is for example, for the jaw. So you can see the differences. Of course, the focus plus is the same, so everything is the same, but the variety of moles can be different here. This is the pixel bitch I have before. It's the same, but the active area, which is the area that can show more details in the volume of less is more. This is the dimensions I can use. And, uh, and we are done with here. I will go to the next.
Okay, this is the 3D plus. This is 3D, so I'll have CBCT here. I can get the 3D image of the CBCT here. What is it, what do we have here? The 3D CT, which is the CBCT we call it in the industry. And this is the panorama and the cephalo. Panorama cephalo, we have gone through it before. What is new here is the 3D CT. Of course, what we have multi uh, field of view selection, the, the fast scan time for 3D image in the CBCT is just 7.7 .7 seconds, which is amazing to get the 3D options. Also, we have here sensors dedicated for each mode because uh, other we have only used the CMOS, as I told you, we have sensor called CMOS. Then we have get here another one, uh, a cord which is used for the CBCT system. It's the same thing. I can have remote activation control in, ca in case of emergency stops, um, you know, the tray, the face. This is the face face uh, assist. Is it clear here? This face face assist. Yes. Like I can face the patient and reassure him and everything and make sure that his position uh, of head is so clear. This is also voice. This is the handy grip and this is the wheelchair. Like I can, it, uh, the movement of the device is, is flexible. <clears throat> Okay, now I'll get to it. Yes, can you see this part? Yeah. Okay, this one here is for cephalo. But this one here is for CT, which is the CBCT and the panorama. The cephalo has a soul sensor while the panorama and uh, the CBCT has another sensor, different completely. Okay. And it's, uh, this device is so flexible, like it can move in all directions, which is amazing. So we'll start here with the CBCT. CBCT, I use it here. Three dimensions. After diagnosis, here. Uh, how is CBCT done? Like you put your head here, and then this device, this one here, and this one here, does three hundred and sixty degree round around your head, so he can get the three D image of your face. Uh, this technology also provides com something called auto stitching. For example, if this must, if I want a very field of view very large, I want the whole face from the chin to the top of the head. Uh, so the field of view of this thing it doesn't cover all the thing that I want. So when I, I can have two images, like I can have this one below, and then I can have this one alone. Then I can do something stitching. They, I join them together to have this max dimensions, 140, um, will, and the other is 140. So I can stitching, like I, I combine them, and it doesn't lose any kind of information. I do the stitching thing. This is, I, this is here a specific sensor for CT imaging, sure the best result. Here. Uh, now companies are so proud how small uh, field of view they can get. How small is the field of view. Like here we have four uh, and five dimensions. Other companies, for example, they can have four and four dimension. Not just, you know, also below than five. Like there are more advanced uh, companies that can have four and four. Also you have, for example, this four and four, I want just for a single teeth. Then we have here, for example, seven and seven two shows. Then I can have, for example, the nasal to be appear different fields of view. This is endodontic treatment here, and these things are whole teeth. Uh, this is to get a whole jaw, and this is to get the whole face. Okay. This is a three D. This is how it appears in the city, and the amazing thing I can I can just you know like and I can use the skull and the uh, and the teeth like between my hands in the 3d dimensions with the software it's exactly as you are 
doing it with your hands like just flop from it from uh, in front behind left and right it's like exactly as is it between your hands i can see it in all three dimensions i like i make this rotate so i can exactly see for example if there's something high, uh, hidden behind the eye if there is malignancy if there is for example a cataract patient may suffer from so i can use this Okay, this is the Manorama, as we have explained before. This exposure programs of uh, the Manorama, it's the same as the basic papaya, the first one that you have gone through. The cephalo as well is the same thing as the bioplast that we have gone through. So each update of uh, the general company of the bio system here, there is something additional they want here. So the thing here that is added is a CBCT. Endodontist need this, needs it. Uh, also, maxillofacial surgeon needs this. Orthodontist need need them. Implantologists need them. And this is the 3D operation software that we have talked about before. And this is the THEA, the software that they use. These are options that can be provided. So this is the difference. Like for example, uh, we have Papaya 3D and we have Papaya 3D Plus. I will go through 3D Papaya Plus now, but just the difference. Uh, now we have here via uh, 3D plus we have exposure to follow here local spot is here is exactly the same but more options of treatment this is the dimensions like this for example if, if I want to get the 3D uh, plus 3D plus here I want more space in the room so the specialist and the dentist must be aware that I must choose this place from this to this to get this device Okay, we're going to the last update. Dr. Hai, can we wrap up shortly because we are going to have to, have to go to another meeting. Um, what? If, can we wrap up uh, soon because I'm going to have to go to another meeting? Okay, I will just explain that last thing. Yeah, sure. Okay, great. The last is just the premium one. It's 3D premium. And then the other thing are so small I can just record it, you know, and send it to you. So the 3D plus, it's exactly as the 3D, but it has here more options. Okay, um, just a minute. Okay. Yeah, if you can record the wall mount, that would be really good. Because then the guys I, I record it all again? Okay, no problem. No, the, uh, I have recorded mm. the screen uh, this time, but I... Uh, this? Yeah, I'm, I meant oh, the... You mean the rest? The wall mount, yeah. Okay. Okay, this is the 3D um, premium. The other the thing that I have here is the model scanning. We're unable to see anything. Uh, um. And the screen, no? Yeah. Okay, just a minute. Mm. Just a minute. Okay, we'll share the screen now. Share screen. This. Okay, share. Okay, can you see now? Okay, now. Uh, the thing that we have here additionally to the 3D Plus is called something 3D Premium. What is the 3D Premium? I will go through it now. Just a minute. Okay, the same thing. This is the chair. Minimize the station. This is the, thing, the same thing that we have done before, the panorama. Also, this provides me to also pediatric standing panorama. I can do it in, with the premium one. That's for the children to ensure that the teeth here are all well developed and they can erupt in its time. This is the three CBCT. Can you see the different fields of view that we have here? Yeah. The smaller, 
the better, not the better, according to the treatment needed, but the more broad the company will be. Like, oh my God, I can have field of view four by four. Oh my God, you are amazing. This, so X-ray companies, they compete in these things. Okay, this is how it appears four by five, this eight by eight, this for example, 23 uh, by 24. This is the spell. Cephalo here, I can get also what is premium option. I can something called one shot type. I'll go through it now. <clears throat> what is one shot time? There is half a second past the scanning, like half a second, which is the amazing thing about this device, the most amazing thing. Like, can I get the one shot type just with half point second? Because we have gone through it. Like, for example, I want the fast for cephalo, I would go for uh, four seconds. But here, if I want cephalo using the premium type of this image, I can get it just for five or point five seconds with less radiation, and it's the best, the best, the best ever. This is so. This is ultra fast. Can you see? Like, there's no so much difference. Like, all things here appear. This is the ultra fast mode, like two seconds, and the normal mode is eight seconds. Is no there, big difference. Is there a reason why they would do with two seconds? Two seconds in cases of patients suffering from motor uh, diseases and uh, their muscles, Parkinson's disease, hyperactive. I can't control any patient. I can't control this move. I can use the ultra fast mode. This is the first radiation exposure. The HD takes uh, 20 seconds. This is the normal. This is the fast. This is ultra fast. This is, you know, they have done it before. This is the software used, the Thea. This is the clipping AI. Yes, uh, also it provides me to get, you know, a maximum of like nine pictures all in one screen. And this is super, so very, very super. Like I can just uh, get all the, for example, X-ray needed of the patients all in one page. And I can look all of them in one page. So this is amazing. Okay, this is... Um, there's something also good here. We have improved image processing. As I told you, for example, if anyone wearing a metal, there's something called um, metal noise that happens in the image. Can you see this radiation that's, uh, that appears here? No. So it, you know, it, it vagues uh, the vision of the teeth. I can see clearly. So this premium feature can reduce this effect. For example, uh, when I use it, a uh, patient, some patients, they can have the porcelain crown, right? Porcelain crown is metal. I can't get the crown out of his mouth just to get an X-ray. Like, of course, you have gone all, through, uh, all the process to get a crown or the bridge, which is porcelain, and it has metal. Of course, it will cause some metal noise. So this software has reduced, do you see the, the you know, there's, nearly nothing appears here with the processing of this premium like it reduces the metal noise that can happen this is the the premium the stl export like it enables the 3d printer and cat cam to be used by converting 3d images to stl data like i can show them on the screen here for example this cost in the lab here stool model scan in the lab i can use this mode you get it on the screen in front on the software so it can be stored in the software without any need to store the stone scan here in the you know in his office dentist office because in the past like near for, for example on the dentist like he may have more than 1000 still stone scans okay stone models which is you know it takes a lot of space of um, of the room and this so instead 
diffusing them, now they use the STL exports. So all patients' data, including papers, including scans, all they can be on the screen, on the safe tray. So instead of storing 1,000 model now they, they store zero. So this is a revolution in the industry. So the doctor, this Here, zir the zircon types, they don't cause this uh, metal artifact? No, no, no. Zircon not. Okay. Because it's not metal. Zircon is like, more like a glass. Yeah. Because it's essentially made from glass. Okay. It's uh, it only just the porcelain. Uh, ah. Other things, uh, for because example, metal, in the past, you know, the in the seventies, hmm? what? The zircon because it has a metal base, yeah. No, no, the porcelain has metal. Sorry, the, the porcelain. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, and in the past, in the 70s and 80s, some, uh, you know, uh, some men were proud to have a gold crown. Yeah. Like, for example, yes, and this also can cause the artifact. But we have seen, are seeing it less nowadays. This is the software. The specifications, like the CT, this is the option. Uh, these are the voxels that they, of course, like the term voxel, we use it for the 3D image, while pixel for 2D image. This is the CT, we can have it from 7.7 .7 to 14.5. Uh, every here, every type of X ray has different type of time. These are dimensions of the room that can be used. Okay, I know are done. There are three small. Uh, Things. These are the main things. We have small, like just uh, each one is two or four pages. I can just record them and send it to you later. What okay. do you think? Okay, that's good. Uh, the premium is usually used for, for centers, yeah? Yes, big centers, especially uh, when, when you have multi specialists in your centers. Like I open a center and they have maxillary facial surgeon, endodontist, implantologist, these things. Okay. Of course. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes, us, you know, uh, individual doctor can get it. If he is an auxiliary fellowship, like he will need all these images, so he can order it. Okay, good stuff. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your, this is a great effort. Thank you very much for that. It's really very useful. Um, we have some videos we've received from Dr. Haya for the implants, which I will share with you as a team later. Um, it, I've also uploaded it on YouTube, so you can you don't have to have it on your on, on your computers. Uh, Dr. Haya, thank you yeah. so much for, for your time and I appreciate that. Um, any, any questions, gentlemen? My pleasure. Anything, any place?